Hey everybody, Chris Small here, the Unconventional Attorney, and uh, today I wanted to talk to you about a question that was asked in my uh, weekly uh, member group, private group meeting, and that is if door hangers will work for law firms. Before we get to that though, I want to remind you, if you are um, a law firm owner, if you're a business owner and you're not subscribed to my newsletter, go and subscribe, theunconventionalattorney.com forward slash newsletter. We'll get you that every week at least once a week. It's goodness. It's amazingness. Um, don't miss it. The unconventionalattorney.com forward slash newsletter. Okay. So will door hangers work for law firm owners and uh, their advertising efforts? Uh, the way that the, um, so I my I have a, a coaching group of law firm owners and um, every week we meet live and the theme of this week is advertising. And so we were talking about, uh, somebody asked whether or not they thought door hangers would work for law firm advertising efforts. If you don't know what a door hanger is, if you're, if you're, if you're young, young, too young to know, basically um, there are these things that you can hang on door hang handles. They're called door hangers. And a lot of painting companies use them. I think a lot of roofing companies use them. Realtors use them. And I mean, anybody could really use them. You just pick a neighborhood, make the, make the door hangers, and you hang them on the doors, right? It's pretty straightforward. Um, this particular question came from somebody that was a bankruptcy attorney, but in the group are uh, divorce attorneys, personal injury attorneys, uh, um, estate planning attorneys, what else do we have? Business attorneys, trademark attorneys. We have all kinds of different attorneys in this group. And so the question um, was was a good one. And we talked about it a little bit. I thought I would share what was what, what I thought would work or not work when it comes to door hangers and law firm advertising because it probably applies to a lot of other businesses as well. So what I, what I, here's what I think. Um, it depends on many different factors on whether or not a door hanger would work. Um, if you, the, the thing about um, law firms that are different maybe from, from some other businesses and also I guess not some other businesses, for bankruptcy in particular, for example, I don't think door hangers would be that great because it's not like you can just walk around and know which people are going to need a bankruptcy. Um, that's not a um, sort of a very general, broad type of person. And you're going to really not be hitting all of the, of the people that you that you want. So my advice when it came to whether or not you should have door hangers for a bankruptcy law firm, my, my response, my thought, initial thought was no. You can take that money. You I would think about where do I want to, um, where are people that need bankruptcies hanging out? And then I would target those places. I would target those people to try to let them know about my services. One way that you could target bankruptcy people that we talked about is like direct mail, okay? You can somehow get a list of people that are, are, are in trouble, in financial trouble in some way. You could send them information directly about bankruptcy. I think you're gonna have a lot more success there than if you just sort of papered a whole neighborhood. Um, because you know your average person probably is not thinking about bankruptcy, not needing bankruptcy, um, not, not even, not even in the bankruptcy world. Uh, however, um, with that being said, when it comes to something like estate planning, when it comes to something like, um, man, estate planning is probably about the only one, door hangers might be a good idea. Everybody needs estate planning. Hardly any of you probably have an estate plan done. If you do, um, that's great. But I can tell you when I ask around and when people talk about it, very few people do. So hitting a neighborhood that um, you think is... Um, you know, the type that you want to service, whether that's because of demographics or, you know, other socioeconomic factors or whatever else you want. So you just like the neighborhood, maybe you live in the neighborhood. Um, you can, I would pepper, pepper or paper that neighborhood as an estate planning attorney, um, and you're likely to get some business from that over time. Um, one round of door hangers or one round of, of, of information probably isn't going to get you a, a lot of traction, but if you did it consistently over time, you would become known as sort of the, the estate planning attorney in that area, and you probably would get a, a, a good amount of business from that. So that is my, that's sort of my initial response when it comes to door hangers. There's one other little sort of um, nugget here. One other thing that I would consider when you're doing advertising, when you're thinking about advertising for your business, there's really sort of two types of advertising that you're gonna wanna think about. Number one type of advertising is going to be sales. Right? You want people to call you, you want people to sign up. That's kind of what we're talking about here. The second kind of, of uh, advertising is just for branding, right? For name recognition, to be known in the community. 
this would be akin to um, often having your uh, logo or your sponsoring a little league team, you know, sponsoring something else, uh, throwing a, a picnic for your for your uh, um, for your clients and for your people, right? These are advertising costs technically, but they're really uh, more structured for getting people to just know who you are. I don't like to do as much of that kind of advertising because when it comes to law firms, when it comes to smaller businesses, the branding is going to take a lot of time. It takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of effort. And uh, the payoff just often isn't there. So um, when it comes to thinking about where to put your dollars for your business, for your law firm or for your small business, I would really focus on those places where you know your potential clients are going to be, where you know your customers are going to be. And I would spend the money on that. You know, for law firms, uh, Facebook is a great place. Uh, for law firms, Google Ads is a great place. Um, and then depending on who you are and, and what your strengths are, networking could be a good place. Um, very strategic partnerships could be a, a good place. So I would think about all those things when you're thinking about where to deploy your advertising um, dollars. I don't know that I would start with door hangers. I don't know that door hangers would be on my top 10 places of things to do. However, to sort of wrap all this up, to close the loop, to close the, to put a bow on this thing. What I would say is with any advertising um, idea that you have that you come up with, if it seems even remotely viable, you know, identify or, or carve out a chunk of, of money that you're willing to spend on it and test it because you never know. You know, I'm not always right about these things. The market don't lie is what I always say. Ball don't lie. So, if you go and you run some some mailers or if you go and you run some door hangers and you get business, then keep doing it, right? If you don't, then, then stop. So that is uh, how I would approach a problem. My thoughts on door hangers for law firm advertising. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, that's great. And as always, if you're not um, subscribed to the newsletter, you're missing out. Easiest way to do that is to go to the unconventionalattorney.com forward slash newsletter. You can check that out. You can you can, uh, you'll get some goodness from me, some little tidbits, some little nuggets, things I don't share here or anywhere else that uh, can help you uh, grow your law firm, help you work less, help you make more, help you uh, be happier. So that's it for today. As always, thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you and I will talk to you again soon. See ya.